President Obama made an outrageous statement regarding the IRS targeting scandal. But with this endless parade of distractions and political posturing and phony scandals, Washington's taken its eye off the ball. And I'm here to say this needs to stop. Repeat, phony scandals. Let's ask Becca Gerritsen, the president of the Wetumpka Tea Party in Alabama. Remember, Ms. Gerritsen's group was targeted and she testified before the House Ways and Means Committee last month. Welcome, Becky. I bet you don't think the targeting of your group was phony now, do you? Tell us again, what happened to you? Oh, Stuart, I, I just want to get something straight. You're a business guy. President Obama has had four and a half years to fix the economy. During that time, the economy's grown less than 1%. And now he's out there telling the public that it's because of an IRS scandal that he just found out about two months ago. That may work for low information voters, but I'm not buying it. What did they do to you? I, he calls well, it a phony scandal. I know that you were targeted. Just give us a quick rundown of what did they do to you? Well, we applied for our 501c4 status and it took us 459 days to hear anything back from the IRS. They sent me a letter wanting 90 additional pieces of information on our organization. They were asking questions that were unconstitutional, that violated my rights, and um, that really they had no business even asking about, and would not give us our status until we completed that. So what? we threatened them with a lawsuit and finally received our status. What kind of questions were they asking? Just give us a sample. Well, they, they wanted to know if any of our volunteers, first of all, they wanted names of all of our volunteers, and then um, all the names of our donors, the amounts they gave, the dates that they gave them. They wanted to know if any of those volunteers or donors were going to run for office. Remember, this was 2012 election year. They wanted copies of every speech we'd ever given. They wanted the names of those speakers, their speakers' credentials. Um, every pamphlet or paper that we'd ever given out, they wanted a copy of. Okay. Now, when you appeared before Congress, you made a big splash. You drew a lot of attention. Everybody knows what happened to you and who you are. Now, the president says the FBI is investigating this. Has the FBI come to you and said, what do you know? Have they contacted you at all? No. I hear crickets. Nothing no phone at all. calls, no, has, no has, emails, no, nothing. No official contact with you whatsoever, despite the big appearance you made before Congress. Nothing. That is correct. What do you think's correct. Go, what do you think is going on, Becky? Well, I think that last week's testimony, which leads directly to Obama's hand-picked political appointment um, as the chief counsel for the IRS, we know that the targeting leads to him. And now all of a sudden it's being called a phony scandal. So I think they're scared of where this is leading. When you first heard the president or Jay Carney use those harsh words, phony or fake scandals, what was the first thought? Yours. I was angry. I was angry. I'm offended. Um, there were 300 Tea Party groups that were targeted. And how all of us can just be make-believe doesn't make any sense to me. Becky Garrison, will you please keep us informed if anybody ever contacts you from the authorities? We'd love to hear from yes. you. Yes. Yes, I definitely will. We really enjoy having you on the program. Thanks very much indeed. Thank you. Thank you.